Hey, greetings friends. Jacques Howard here from Trenton, New Jersey. Um, our studio, it's our home as well. Just a row home here in Trenton. It's a little over 100 years old. Uh, got some construction that's going on as well. But I wanted to show you all a little urban ag from the Howard family perspective. So in here we've got uh, some greens, some chard, kales, cabbages, some herbs, a couple different types of basil, thyme, oregano, the tomatoes. Remember, there's two different types. There's determinate and indeterminate. Determinate, usually marked with a D, means they grow to a certain time and they stop. Indeterminate means they keep going and going and going. As long as it's warm enough and they have the uh, proper nutrition, they will keep producing. So you need to build your structure to be able to handle the, all that growth of those tomatoes that are just going to keep going and going and going. The game that I like to play is trying to figure out how far they'll go. As you can see, they've taken over this uh, six by four box. We've also gone vertical with our cucumbers. And we feel as though it's a cool artistic look. Uh, you can see the bees love it. We've got lots of different cukes. We try to plant a few different varieties so that when we make our salads and when we give them away, folks get a chance to try some different types of cukes. From the miniatures all the way through. And this will produce for a good part of the year. Just make sure you give it lots of water. Lots of flowers. Um, a lot of this stuff now is kind of burned out just because of the season. Um, the cat mint is totally digging this time of the year. This is one of my favorite plants, but I can't remember the name of it. It's like a, a ground cover, but it comes with purplish leaves and even some flowers at times. A few different types of sage, lots of mint. Shout out to my great aunt Maud, who turned me on to that as a young person. Lettuces, they're about done. And more, some more greens. Again, when the flowers shoot like this, um, it's called bolting. B-O-L-T-I-N-G, bolting. So what's happened here is it's just way too hot. So this plant now is going into its next phase. So it's trying to produce the seeds. But the cool thing is, is once this flowers and goes to seed, I can take all of that. And now I have seeds that I can give away to others to help them grow. The basil is doing fine. This is another experiment of a tomato that we done, did here. And I wanted to show you our blackberries. Now, these types of blackberries are the kind that are called trailing. So every two years, their vines die off and new ones produce. So they go all over the place. They just kind of go wherever they want. They go underground, and then they'll pop up someplace else. So you have to be careful about that because you can see this one plant that we've had for several years. I've been able to guide it, but now it seems as though it wants to grow with our grapes. So we'll see what I have to do about that at the end of the season. But I'm saying that because just this morning, look at this harvest. This is about a pint um, or a quart of uh you know what you would buy at the store of blackberries and there's more to harvest trying to teach people and encourage people to be the best that they can be at all given times be the best that you can be a little bit better than yesterday let's get back to some of the basic things we all know that we need clean water we all know that we need shelter and we all need food grow your own food folks jacques howard here remember it's always about justice peace and humility